This is called quarantine fatigue. And is there any going back? Here is healthy living specialist, Dr. Matt Chalmers on the Lamarca Law Group Newsmakers Line. Dr. Chalmers, welcome back to the program. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Dr. Chalmers, is this a real thing, quarantine fatigue? And once people get it, are they going to be able to, to, to listen to anybody at this point? Or are they just tired of what's going on around us? It's definitely a real thing, and the problem we're going to get into is that it, once people kind of get to the, the point where they're done with things, they're done. And so I don't yeah. know how much going back we're actually going to do. Now, Dr. Chalmers, here's what I see. I do see people washing their hands. I do see people wearing the mask, attempting to, to social distance, but in a bigger scope there this is a very human thing isn't it that that people are tired of their lives being sort of knocked off course and all the abnormality is this a very human reaction to what we're seeing uh, that's going on around us absolutely human beings are very social people and we really need to get around people for us to feel not only psychologically but physically okay um, you know we really see it in our children and this is one of the things that we really haven't been discussing. We've been talking about grandma. We talk about our jobs, but our yeah. children's, our five, six, seven-year-olds. You know, I'm talking to the parents. I'm talking to these kids, and you know, I'm hearing that these kids are telling me that no one loves them, that no one likes them because they don't think they have any friends anymore because they they've been socially isolated from other kids their age, and this is very, very damaging to the children, but to also adults. So we need to get back together. Well, uh, Dr. Chalmers, you're bringing up an important point because I think that. The way that a lot of folks are handling this, including on social media, when they're worried that people aren't doing what they should be doing in order to remain healthy, they're, they're scolding, they're trying to shame. That's not going to work when you're looking at the cumulative effect overall of what this period of isolation has done to people. Am I right on that? You're exactly right. And I'd like for those people who are trying to shame people to go ahead and look at the death of despair numbers, the people who have lost their business or you know, or have committed suicide or, you know, are becoming alcoholics and drug addicts and domestic abuse numbers are going up because of this. So, you know, there, there's more of this than this than just everything will be okay if you go outside wearing a mask. Uh, that's a great point. This is Dr. Matt Chalmers. So, Dr. Chalmers, obviously you, you focus on mind, body, spirit. I love talking to you about healthy living. I mean, what do we do? What motivates us internally because, you know, I don't want to go out and I don't want to get this virus, but it's out there. I might get it. How do I continue to motivate myself to do what I need to do to continue to remain healthy? So one of the biggest things we see that specifically relates to this fatigue issue that, this, you know, this, that we're feeling is that we feel as though our lives have been taken over and that the power has been taken from us. So what I tell people to do is take the personal responsibility back and organize your life. I'm going to go to bed at this time. I'm going to wake up at this time. I'm going to eat this way. I'm going to work out this way. I'm going to, I'm going to call the people in my group that I love and I care about. And I'm going to make sure I talk to them. And I'm going to take back control of my life and do it in a healthy manner. And that really, really helps people to kind of focus away from something that's being done to me to I am doing something for myself. And that really kind of helps people not only get healthier, but to psychologically get over uh, what, what they're feeling. I think the challenge for people there, Dr. Chalmers, I mean, I agree with you. I want to focus on myself as staying healthy, but I want to wear a mask because I'm told that protects other people. And I've had a number of people, whenever we start talking about masks, Dr. Chalmers, they just, they, they message me and they say, you do you and I'll do me. So after a while, it, it becomes harder to focus on other people, isn't it? You, you want to, part of this is protecting other people, but folks are also rebelling against that because they want their individual freedoms back. Well, and that's very important. You know, the, the idea that wearing a mask, specifically a cloth mask, is going to really reduce viral uh, load on people is, is a little bit silly. You know, I talk to people who say, well, oh, it doesn't bother me at all. I can smoke and vape right through my mask, so it's no problem. You know, and that kind of shows you the amount of protection that these masks are really giving. But at the same time, I, I do think that we should be cognizant of other people's feelings. If I was to go to a nursing home, regardless how I feel about masks, I know that the people in the nursing home would feel better if I had one on. And thus, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm not going to be raising their anxiety levels if I wear one. So I have no problem wearing one around them. 
Now, in my own personal life, as I'm out going to the gym around the 20-year-olds who don't care, I also, I'm not going to wear one then. So I think that we should be cognizant of other people, but at the same time, if it's really affecting your lifestyle, you know, and you feel as though it's, it's an impingement on your rights, then that is something that's very valid and we should kind of take into account as well. Healthy Living Specialist, a person that takes a holistic approach looking at the mind, body, and spirit. That's Dr. Matt Chalmers. Always appreciate Dr. Chalmers' viewpoint. Dr. Chalmers, thanks very much for joining me this morning, and we will talk again soon.